See, Tony Stewart just bull his way through there to get an opportunity. And he's gonna have it, too. Final corner at Daytona. Who's gonna get here first? Regan Smith, seven. Keslowski, 22. Stewart, 33. And contact! Smith turned around. Tony Stewart is gonna win this race. And a terrible crash coming to the finish. And this is a big, big wreck. Kyle Larson's car with the front end severely torn off. That is the engine out of the 32 car. That's in the grandstand side of that wall. Yeah, also a tire and wheel assembly. As the field came to the checkered flag, watch the white 32 car. And again, Kyle Larson did climb from that machine. You heard from him a minute ago. How long can he do that? Rusty gets out of the way now. Kyle Petty. Oh, he is. Oh, and he's upside down. Into the guardrail. Side over side. End over end. And Davy Allison has experienced a horrifying crash. Oh. Here they come off the corner. And Darrell Waltrip is trying to go by on the inside of Davey Allison. And Davey comes down to try to block that to that move. And just some contact there. And just as soon as that car touched the grass, it flew. Turned over. Now that they're not are they required to run the skirts on the no. right side of the cars here like they do at Daytona and Talladega? I don't believe so, did. And uh, you can see that once once the air got up under the right side of that car, it just flipped it the wrong way. Yeah, he's got to get to the top. The top's going to have the biggest energy here. Mm -hmm. 21's going to come with a huge shove. They are two and three wide behind him. Crossover. Here he That's comes. Austin Hill in oh, the 21. Big crash. Up and over. Caution is out. That's Myatt Snyder. You know, to, to see Myatt just walk right out, that's a, a great sign. And I would be anxious to see how close it was at the time of caution. Because look right here, it looks like the 16's out front. Who it had to be really close. Yep. The caution wasn't out at that point when they left our screen. So he was clearly ahead by the time he left the bottom of your monitors on television. But unfortunately, Anthony Alfredo getting into the back of the 31 and creating that issue. And wow. Three. I mean, look at that Gosh. car. And look at the grass that's I mean, flying in front of him. Where is the engine? Oh, wow. <laughs> the wow. engine's gone. A bad crash here at Talladega. Just a very, very bad crash. Mark Martin is involved. So is Rusty Wallace, Brett Bodine, Elton Sawyer. One car overturned in the banking of turn number one, got up into the catch fence and came back onto the racetrack. I don't know who it was at the moment, but this is a very, very ugly looking crash. Okay, Martin goes a little high there. Gordon gets into him. They both have to back off and then the jamming up starts and they get into the wall on the outside. Others start jockeying around. There's Derek Cope. He thought he got through that for just a moment, but Mark Martin's gonna come right back up in front of him. And is that Ricky Craven? Yes, it is. Ricky Craven in car number 41 that's flipping over, went up against the outside wheel fence, back down on the track and was hit again. That's the crumpled hulk of Ricky Craven's engine. What's left of it, I should say. The carburetor having been sheared away, some of the intake crushed, and the engine pushed completely to the left. But look at what's left of his beautiful Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Well, there's not much, of course. The roll cage, though, remained intact. This cage built by Mike Laughlin did its job. There were some openings here where it had been ripped open by the catch fence. Keep the camera Look just, at Jimmy. Yeah, right there. We could keep both these battles in this shot. Great job, guys. Down oh, the stretch. Oh, Look trouble. out. Trouble. Kurt's into the wall. Boyer's in it as well. And Kurt's getting the worst of it. Looks like a little bump drafting going on right there. We're trying to gain the advantage. Looks like the 48 got into the back of him a little bit. Man, look at this car. Oh, man. Further back, Elliot Sadler. Sadler. And look at this. Gosh. Engine is out of this thing. Oh, my God. Well, That's the whole suspension. It's like the front part of the front suspension. The window is net Elliot? is down for Elliot. He's got the helmet off already. That is the best news. 
You can see he oh, is, he is in he is yeah, in some pain. Hurting. Oh man, I hate to see this. Look at the front of that oh, car. The engine completely out of the car. Okay, let's. Uh, we we think we've seen an angle. Uh, check the lower right of your screen. Oh my right. gosh! Oh, oh my oh. gosh! Head on into that Armco. That's down. That's down in a 90 degree corner. There are 43 drivers in this field tonight, but no one has a more fascinating story to tell than Mike Harmon. Now, before you see this video, there are two things you should know. One, no one was seriously injured, and two, that's because of the safety measure measures legislated into these cars and the guys back at the shop that build them. Take a look at what happened here in Bush Series practice on Thursday. Mike Harmon comes off of turn two, hits the crossover gate, and then slams into the wall. His car is hit by Johnny Sauter. Here it is again. The car virtually disintegrates, and then Sauter hits what's left. One more time, you can see the driver's compartment inside the roll cage. That's what protected Harmon. Then Sauter comes by and hits what's left of the car. Moments later, the miracle. Mike Harmon climbed out of that car uninjured. Track officials said the crossover gate was not properly secured at the time. Mike Harmon starts 42nd tonight with a provisional, and Dave Burns is with him. Here comes Dylan diving to the bottom of the racetrack. Austin Dillon dives to the bottom of the racetrack. Here's Keselowski trying to make the move on Logano. Logano throws the block. Logano leads down the back straightaway. Keselowski's in line. Now he turns him. Boot team Penske cars crash. Keselowski is up in a ball of flame. Up into the outside wall. He'll take Kyle Busch with him. Everybody now racing off the corner in a horrific crash on the final lap of the Daytona 500. Caution is on the speedway. Caution is on the speedway. Speedway will wait and see who was the race leader when the caution flag came out. They have the stop video that determines who is out front when the caution is called. NASCAR huddled around frame by frame trying to determine, and it's tough. They are three wide with Chase Elliott, Austin Dillon, and Michael McDowell waiting on NASCAR race control to determine exactly who the winner of the Daytona 500 is. But a horrific crash over there. Could tell you Brad got out of the race car, as Mike Bagley described. Kyle Busch also got out of the race car under his own power. Bad crash over in turn two. Michael Waltrip has hit the wall hard. The car is upside down. And you can see the car is really torn up. Well, Jerry, I said it's sort of on its side or... Boy, he, yes, it is upside down. They're fixing up that gate where Michael hit over there. Let's take a look one more time and give that Kool-Aid man on the hood of that Pontiac a wild ride. Now, just coming out of turn two, that's the crossover gate, and Michael hits the juncture of the gate and the concrete wall that begins the back straightaway. The car is literally sawed open, and you see the steering wheel now sticking out to the left side of the car, and this is what's left of Michael Waltrip's Kool-Aid Country Time Pontiac. Out of the second turn and down the back stretch. That's Waltrip and Alan Kowicki leading this. Oh, look at Earnhardt. Earnhardt got sideways. Somebody looked like made some contact. With uh oh, them. we've got a problem. Got contact here for sure. Darrell Waltrip and Joe. Uh oh, Waltrip's car gets on the front and over and over. Darrell Waltrip tumbling down the back stretch. In what appears to be a very, very serious crash. Joe Rutman, the other car involved in that incident. That we see. Darrell, he's down on the inside of Kowicki and Joe Rutman right behind him. Now here comes Earnhardt. Looks like someone had tapped him. But oh, then, Kowicki came down and touched Darrell. Threw him back into Rutman. Rutman gets in the side of him. And, and here's here, the road they hit. Yep. Yeah. When he hits the road, it gets him airborne and the car starts over. Of course, he was get, being pushed by the car number 75. That was just a a circumstance there McMurray oh look out little contact with a 32 McMurray says hey I was in front the last time you took it away from me earlier today he's going to try and take it away oh, from here. he's hung in the middle here he comes has got trouble now Keselowski's got like oh, on the high side look out they're going to go Where's around McMurray uh, oh, no, been behind no, him. Been behind oh him. big uh, crash no. oh and up into the wall look out the caution is out the race will finish and it looks like Brad Keselowski is going to get the race win. Bring it here. Bring it here. Oh, it's good to see that right there. That is Dennis Setzer as, boy, Man, that car lick, is boy. torn up. Uh, 
You see McMurray trying to get in line right here, right behind Harvard. Just not enough room. Yeah, and he had to check up for just a second because he was on the rear, right rear quarter of Kevin Harvick. And then once he goes around, the chaos wow. begins. Look at Setzer. Wow. Good to see him get out of that car, but that catch fence does its job. Into the trail, they come. Dale Earnhardt Jr. to the bottom of the track. Jr. will win in Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh, my God. of Austin Dillon into the catch fence. All the crews getting out to that car to assist these drivers. Thumbs going up from all the crew members and the crowd roars. Here we go, you can see him on the bottom. Rex starts in front, he runs in the back of the 24, gets up on the 11, now he's on top of the 50.5, and now it's just a long for the run. Watch the car stop, watch the car stop. It gets into those poles. And it goes from, I don't know, what, 180, 190 miles an hour, I'm just guessing, to a complete stop. That is unbelievable. And it, it looks like a tour. That's 3,500 pounds. That, that stock car is extremely heavy. You see here, after he's upside down, the two is, is spinning. Obviously, he's already lost control, makes more contact with the three. Just staying up high going in the corner. He's not following the truck, the truck in front of him. Don't know what's going on there. Whoa. Oh, look out. We got trouble. This is going to hurt. Uh oh, oh my. Oh my. Yep. Keep your fingers crossed. It was so good for so long, and it turned into so bad so quickly. We'll be back to see what happened, uh, and as I said, keep your fingers crossed, folks.